The Kishugu MP was at the party headquarters where NAC Kenya became the first party to issue nomination certificates for people seeking various seats following the party's nominations on the 10th of January. Rua also formally received the party's certificate that recognized her as the NAC Kenya party presidential candidate. And it's in her ambition to succeed President Kibaki that the Kishugu MP made a declaration that she says is a reflection of the courage she has as a leader to win the trust of the people. My net worth as of today is 56 million shillings. Yeah. There are those who will be disappointed and wonder what is happening. You can, you are allowed to check all the details. This is in assets she possesses from a plot worth 40 million shillings located in Roslyn in the leafy suburbs of Nairobi, a 50% shareholding worth 10 million shillings in another plot in Tigoni, and a vehicle worth 6 million shillings. Making this public is not a gimmick. It is, enabled, it is intended to enable the public to audit my stay in office and to see whether I have properly utilized my time there. And this must be done especially now that we have this culture of greed and self-aggrandizement. Public declaration of wealth was meant to be mandatory under the Leadership and Integrity Bill before it became an act, but Parliament watered down the bill and thus there is no obligation for those seeking public office. I am aware that the law we mutilated in Parliament does not obligate anyone to make their wealth declaration public. However, it is my conviction that those who are sincere about their commitment to truly serving the people need to do this. How else is the public going to hold us to account? In a country perennially ravaged by corruption, a rise in fortunes of politicians has always been criticized and greeted with mistrust, especially after securing public offices. And in the season of political campaigns, opponents have already started using this against each other. Meanwhile, the campaign financing bill, which was to regulate the amount candidates will spend for elective seats, never matured in Parliament, and thus the elections will be contested with no regulations on how much one can spend. For Karua, who says she will name a running mate soon, it's a move she hopes will endear her to the voters if trust with public funds is anything to go by. Hussein Mohammed, Citizen Live at 9.